What was the name, Maggie? Really written by the victim? I see a point, Your Honor. Detective Gumshoe, please tell the court a little, a little more about the name on the ground. Yes, sir. Writing on the ground. Ah, Allego! We first looked into the handwriting. Unfortunately, we couldn't confirm that it was the victim's handwriting. Next, we checked the victim's pointer finger. We found that there was sand trapped under the victim's fingernail. There were also scratches on his skin that were caused by him writing on the ground. From this, we could confirm that the victim wrote this name with his right hand. Yes, a perfectly logical conclusion. Da, 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 da. Laziel, vielen, vielen Dank, dass du Raffi ein Subgift ist. Sehr, sehr lieb von dir. Gachi Bess. Now then, Mr. Wright, you may cross-examine the witness. Thank you, Your Honor. Riding on the ground. Was haben wir eigentlich jetzt hier für Beweise? A birthday present from Maggie. Uh, it was custom made. But can you really determine handwriting based on a sample written in the sand? Heh, <laughs> this is why amateurs are amateurs. We are not a bunch of simpletons, pal. Scientific investigation in this country is really good, actually. Uh, I believe it's time to get back to the real point. Agreed, Your Honor. So, what was the result of the investigation? So, in the end, you couldn't confirm it. Hey, don't you look down on us. I told you, we are not a bunch of simpletons, pal. Everyone knows you can't find out everything uh, you want with scientific investigation. I've never heard that before. Me neither. Nor I. I never heard anything like that at the police academy, sir. Okay, so I made it up anyway. <laughs> Come, shoo. His pointer finger. You know, the one you're always pointing and waving around in people's faces. <laughs> Don't tell me it bothers you. Every time you do it, I have a mini heart attack. It's like you're trying to kill me, pal. In any case, you examined the victim's index finger, correct? Yeah, we figured there should be something on his finger if he had been writing in sand. Hmm, and the results? Ah, nice, Ikari. Willkommen, willkommen. And what does that prove? Well, it proves that he did write the name with his own finger. Yes, which explains why there was sand struck under his nail. I guess he's right. And there's more. Scratches on the skin? Yep, you can't see them with your naked eye, but they are there. That's incredible. Sure is, that's the power of scientific investigation. They're so small that we had to use a magnifying glass, like a really strong one. It's got that really scientific sounding name. You mean, a uh, microscope? Yeah, that's it! We used one of those and that's how we found them. I can't believe this guy doesn't know what a microscope is. And you abso are you absolutely, absolutely sure? I believe in the power of science. Uh, I wonder if my evidence is solid enough to counter with. Listening to this, you would think there was only one conclusion. That the name was definitely written by the victim. But don't you think that would be really strange, sir? If Dustin really wrote that message with his right hand, do you think uh, I would have gone through that much trouble to get him uh, this present? Present? What about it? Hmm. Detective Gumshoe, 
Take a look at this. Uh, that's a glove, right? Could you tell the court what is special about this glove? Uh, what's special? Um, never really thought about it, but... It's really yellow, and that's about it. Yes, it's really yellow, but that is only one of its qu uh, qualities. Huh? There's another reason why it's special, and what would that be? It's very simple. This glove is made for a left-handed person. Left-handed? Why are you... Uh, why you're absolutely... Why? You're absolutely right. This glove is made to be worn on the right hand. That is why it had to be custom made. I have never seen a bright yellow left-hander's glove for sale, have you? Well, um, no. So, detective, which, na which hand did the victim use to write the name with again? That's easy. Look, it's obvious from this picture that it was his... Wait a sec. Don't forget that the victim was left-handed. Ah! This is, that is, I mean, I object. Overruled. Mr. Wright, I would like you uh, to know what your... I would like to know what your line of reasoning proves. There's only one conclusion that can be drawn. A left-handed person could not have written a message with his right hand. Therefore, the person who wrote the name Maggie could not have been the victim. Order! Order! When you think about it that way, then yes. It's not possible that this name was written by the victim himself. Then that means Maggie is... No. It's impossible, Mr. Payne. Yes, Your Honor? The evidence the prosecution has presented has failed to prove the defendant's guilt. In fact, I believe you have proven her to be innocent. No! Alright, you did it, Mr. Wright. Ooh, I feel like I can breathe again. It seems that we have reached a conclusion. You did a fine job once again, Mr. Wright. Me, Your Honor? Ah, well, thank you, sir. See, you got complimented by the judge again. You're really good. And that's why you can't give up by being a lawyer, sir. Are you joking? I'm more than ready to retire. I will now announce my verdict. This court finds the defendant, Maggie Byard. No, not yet. Huh? I mean, please give me a few more minutes, Your Honor. Uh, what is the meaning of this, Mr. Payne? The prosecution is not finished yet. What do you mean? We would like to call our next witness to the stand. What? And what did this witness... Witness? The moment the victim was pushed to his death. What's more, he saw the very face of the culprit. What the heck? Order, order in the court. I believe a recess is in order. Afterwards, we will hear from this new witness. I had a feeling that was a bit too easy. I need more information. I'll have to see what I can find out during this recess. I can't let my guard down. It's only going to get tougher from here. Court is adjourned for recess. Was kommt jetzt? Erstmal ein Päuschen. Ja, selbst äh, im ersten Fall gibt es jetzt hier ein Recess. Äh, Amnesia! I can't believe my lawyer is trying to defend me in such a state. I, äh... Uh... Why didn't you tell me, sir? I'm sorry, I didn't mention it to you. Oh, I know what to do. I heard you can fix something like this with a really strong shock to your system. Come on, lower your head a little. A Maggie kick should be all you need. Uh, no, 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 no. I think I'll pass on this one. Come on. Uh, I'm sorry. Whenever I see someone in trouble, I have a hard, t a hard time leaving them alone. I tend to stick my nose where it doesn't belong and try to tackle everyone's problems. Well, my head's run problem you won't be tackling today. Well, we are here to solve your problem first. We can deal with mine later. For now, do you think you can fill me in on a few things? Of course, I'd be... Uh, I'd be honored, too. Ah, well, I guess we'll start with my name and then I can tell you about me. 
No, 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 that's okay, really. I think I know you and your name pretty well by now. I was wondering if you could fi or if you could help me figure out a few things about myself. So my name is Phoenix Wright. What a weird name. Um, this is serious. You really don't remember. I'll tell you what, sir. You can have this back and maybe it will help. Huh? This is a business card. I got this from you. It's my most prized possession. You can borrow it for now, but please give it back, okay? Okay. There's some numbers written on the back. Oh, that's your cell phone number. It's my business card. Uh, I hand wrote my cell phone number on the back. Okay. I guess for now we should stop talking about me. And start talking about this case. This case? Yep. Can you think of anything that would be helpful for me to know? Uh, what can I tell you? Um, I can't think of anything other than the incident with the cell phone, but... Cell phone? Yeah. Your eyes lit up when we talked about it at the detention center, sir. Hurry up then and tell me. This might be very important. Okay, Roger. It was on the day of the crime, just before 6 p.m. I picked up a lost cell phone while on a walk with Dustin. Alter, was sie für ein Shirt anhat. <laughs> das Shirt, was sie anhat, Freunde. All of a sudden, the phone began to ring. Um, hello? Oh, thank you. I've been searching for my phone. Is this yours? Oh, I'm glad you called. We can meet up and I can give you this back. I'll be right there. Um, sorry I didn't catch your name. You can call me Maggie. Der Blue Badger. Alter, der Klingelton ist super. Meine Mutter hatte auch mal so einen Mission Impossible Klingelton auf ihrem ganz alten Handy. Das war sehr nice. <laughs> We agreed to meet up at 6 p.m. Dustin and I waited for the person to show up, but they never did. Huh? So, where is the phone you found now? I gave it to you yesterday. Huh? To me? Is it that phone in my pocket? You mean this? Do you think it has anything to do with the murder? I don't really know, but if my eyes lit up... Ah! You were here all along! You're so mean! I called you a million times, but you wouldn't pick up! And when I went to check in the courtroom, everyone had already left! Now is this? Ah! Now who the heck is this? Let me guess, I'm supposed to know this girl too. Hey, good morning, Maggie! Ah, good morning to you too, Maya. So, so, how's it going? Is there a word for worse than abysmal? Oh, and what if I said that everything will be fine? That's right, it's Maya to the rescue with the ultra decisive, super important evidence. Here are you, Nick, the thing you wanted me to bring. Huh? Oh, thanks. What the heck is this? A list? It has about 20 people's names and phone numbers written on it. It was kind of tough, but I managed to dig up some dirt. It looks like these guys are up to no good. No good? As in... There's a group of con artists the police are currently investigating. I think these guys are members of that group. A list of unfamiliar names and phone numbers. Members of a con artists group? Why would a group of con artists pop up in a case like this? Don't look at me. Huh? And where did you get this list from in the first place? What? Don't you remember, Nick? You're the one who asked me to look this up yesterday. Oh, is that right? These numbers were in the memory of that phone Maggie found. Ah, so that's where they are from. You're awfully forgetful these days, Nick. I hope I never get to be a forgetful old prune like you. Uh, Maya, actually, Mr. Wright is... Mr. Wright, recess is now over. Please bring the defendant and return to the courtroom immediately. Oh, oops. Guess we have to get going. We can talk about you being old later, Nick. Uh, wish us luck. I guess I have all the pieces now, more or less. All that's left is to put it all together. I'm not going to lose this. I can't. Come on, Nick. Better get to move on. Y yeah. Ich frage mich bei dem Fall immer, wie alle davon ausgehen, dass das Opfer den Namen geschrieben hat, obwohl durch den Tod 
sofort, obwohl er durch den Tod auch sofort gestorben ist. Ja, es war auch eine meiner Gedanken eben, als ich ermittelt habe und Beweise vorlegen musste, aber scheint ja niemanden zu jucken. Court will now reconvene. Please call your next witness to the stand, Mr. Payne. Yes, Your Honor. But before I do, if I may say a few words... What is it, Mr. Payne? It's about the next witness. He has a, t a tendency to say things that rub people the wrong way, you see. So I ask the court... Uh, so I ask that the court might be a little lenient on. There is no need to give a preface. Just hurry up and call your witness, please. Yes, Your Honor. The prosecution calls its next witness, a drifter who was taking a walk in the park on the day of the murder. Den kennen wir doch, das ist Yami Yugi. Please state your name for the court witness. Before I do, I'd like to clarify a little something. Huh? Oh, alright, go ahead. Just now you introduced my wonderful self to the court, correct? Perhaps as a drifter who was taking a walk. Uh, did, did I? But I will not stand for that. Now you've tinted the court's eyes and called at me wrongly. Sure, I suppose calling me a... Old bag, is that you? Y yes, yes, I understand. I'm very sorry. I'll be more careful from now on. What is he, a human chatterbox? Uh, I have to question him. Fashion, cars, women, glasses, and of course, university. First rates only need apply. Glasses? But you aren't wearing glasses. <laughs> That's enough, your name, witness. <laughs> oh, is that how you want to play this? Using your power and influence to keep the young people down, I see how you work now. You old people and your dirty tricks, you thought you had me, but you thought wrong. Uh, I'm sorry, it won't happen again. Oh, man. I forgive you. All right, I suppose I ca can ca tell you my name. I am Richard Wellington, the drifting virtuose who, with a PhD in drifting, as it were. If you wanted to go, uh, if you wanted to, you can just call me a university student in transit. Uh, Mr. Wellington, on the day of the murder, you were taking a uh, uh, strolling through the park, correct? Uh, it would appear that you are attached to that word, if you must, then by all means. But I remind you that I am no, I am in no way a pre prescript boy on a walk with mommy. If you must know, anyway, please testify to this court what you saw during your walk through the park. See, you said it again, taking a walk, you know, you... <laughs> What your witness will do, Mr. Wellington? God, der ist so am Labern, der Typ. <laughs> ist echt schon Justin. Uh, Justice. I was at the park all afternoon, deep in thought about my life situation. I don't remember the time all that well, but I do believe it was past 6 p.m. All of a sudden, a police officer falls from above right in front of my eyes. Guck mal, wie er guckt. Er hat so einen richtigen Poggersmund. Without a thought, it, uh, I looked up and there I met the eyes of a charming young lady. Of course I remember her sweet face, it was that of the pretty defendant there. The only other thing I saw was the banana that fell with the police officer. The banana? Yeah, that was certainly a decisive testimony. Decisive, Nick. Did you hear what she just said? Yeah. That's all you have to say? How can you be so calm? Strange. My mind is very calm and clear. Maybe it's because I believe in my client. You mean Maggie? Yes, and if she's really innocent, then that can only mean one thing. That guy is lying. Hey, better knife! I'll find out the truth, no matter how well you craft your lies. Also, was mir gleich aufgefallen ist, ist die Banane am Ende. Beziehungsweise die Aussage mit der Banane am Ende. A banana? Well, it was actually more than just one. More, more like a bunch of bananas. Now, what a, now what would a bunch of bananas be doing there? 
And why would I know such a thing? I'm only telling you what I saw. That's really strange. Maggie never mentioned anything about a bunch of bananas. That's it, Nick. He's gotta be lying about the bananas. Well, he could be, but... There's no reason for him to lie about there, about there being bananas at the crime scene. And what if it's not a lie? Well, maybe he thought he was seeing one thing and it was something else. If he mistook something else for a bunch of bananas, then that would be an inaccuracy. Think, Phoenix, think. My client is innocent. There's no way he could have seen what he says he did. Which means if we want... Which, which, which means if we can somehow show he's lying. Yeah, that's exactly what we need to do. She's right, she's got a sharp mind, but I wish I could remember who she is. Is everything okay, Nick? Also, ich glaube, er verwechselt die Bananen mit dem Handschuh. <laughs> Mr. Wellington, I believe I have the bananas you saw right here. Ah, so you knew about the bananas too. Why didn't you say so earlier? He doesn't know, Chad. He doesn't know. But don't think you can use this as a way to pull more information out of me. And that's where you'd be wrong. Uh, Mr. Wright, what is the meaning of this? Isn't that the baseball glove? Uh, what? A baseball glove? Doesn't it look delicious? Care for a bite? That's... It's not... It's... Ah, no! Your Honor, I think this proves one very important fact. This witness loves bananas, has has bad eyesight, knows nothing about baseball. Ich, ich, es ist das Zweite. Es muss auf jeden Fall das Zweite sein, aber ich mag die erste Option. <laughs> Mr. Wellington loves large bananas. <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> Uh, Nick, I hope you've noticed the icy glass we are getting from everyone in here. W what in the world do you mean? I'll have you know I like strawberries much better than bananas. Whoops. <laughs> Think it over one more time and try again, Mr. Wright. <laughs> Alter, richtig gut. By the way, just how bad are your eyes? Huh? How? What you... What are you talking... Your Honor, it is very simple to mistake a glow for a bunch of bananas. No, I don't think so. Objection overruled. Das Witzige ist, normalerweise ist der Judge immer richtig leicht zu beeindrucken von den, äh, von den Rechtsanwälten, ja. Aber gerade bei Mr. Winston Payne in Fall 2 ist er auf einmal, weiß ich nicht, er ist schlauer geworden, was total krass ist. Beziehungsweise ein bisschen autonomer, aber hey. Hey, hey yo. you're one of those people, yes, you know what I mean. You're like those people who blah blah uh, got possibilities and in, in the end uh, I love bananas viewed from afar I do think And that is why I ask you how bad your eyesight is They are both 20 out of 200 I suppose you are going to tell me that's terrible right? Why are you not wearing your glasses today then? <laughs> hey Danix uh, That's because I lost them recently you see of course, I was planning on getting a new pair made right away. But you know, my glasses are no ordinary glasses, so to replace them... How about when you witnessed the crime? Were you wearing your glasses then? <laughs> How about it, witness? You are an unrelenting evil man. You are like those people who are courageous. And while you didn't do anything, you burnt... Which boils down to you uh, were not wearing your glasses at the time. Hey, Concrete! Hab neues Idee bekommen. Hau raus! Therefore, the identity of the woman at the scene of the crime and that's that of the defendant cannot be proven to be the same by this witness. <laughs> but the height difference was only 9 feet. It was very possible for him to see the face of the uh, culprit standing on the upper path. Hey, Maxla! Huh, witness. Please be more accurate in your testimony. Remember, a person's life is at stake. Y yes, Your Honor. Now then, please continue with your testimony. Please tell the court what happened next in the moments after you witnessed the crime. 
<laughs> Thanks for being me, Skespa. Lass mich was abchecken, weil kann ich eigentlich a list of con artists and their phone numbers stored in the cell phone Maggie fan? The girl on the upper path ran away as soon as she realized I was there. After that, I immediately called the police station to report the crime. It must have been 6.45 when I made the call. They must have a lot of free time on their hands since they showed up within 10 minutes. Huh. So the person who was on the upper path saw you and then ran away. Yes, that is correct. Which is why even someone without a superior brain like mine can understand that. That girl is a murderer. Natürlich. Vielleicht wollte sie auch einfach nur Hilfe holen. You may question the witness now, Mr. Wright. Also ich kann euch generell einen Tipp geben für Phoenix Wright Spiele. Äh, was ich zum Beispiel immer als erstes unter die Lume nehme, sind Daten und Uhrzeiten. Daten und Uhrzeiten kann man nämlich wunderbar abgleichen. Und was mir jetzt gerade direkt auffällt, ist 6,45. Mir ist eben beim Durchgucken der Beweise auch etwas aufgefallen. Richtig. Es war 7 Uhr, als dieses Foto aufgenommen worden ist. Das heißt also, ähm, es kann gar nicht 6.45 Uhr gewesen sein. Ja, das, das, sind, das sind für mich immer die auffälligsten äh, Widersprüche. Okay, es war doch der... Okay, okay, es war der Autopsie-Report. Sorry, sorry, okay. <lacht> well. Mr. Wellington, would you please take a look at this? You mean the victim's autopsy report? According to this, the murder occurred at 6.28. So, what of it? You said that you called the police immediately after the murder took place. However, by the time you had called the police, it was already 6.45. There is clearly a 15 minutes gap, 15 minute gap here. Do you deny it? <laughs> I think this court would like to hear what you were doing during this 15 minute gap. <laughs> the witness was in shock at the time after witnessing a terrible murder. It's only to be expected that he would be a little dazed. 15 minutes is hardly what I would call a little dazed. Or a little dazed. Mr. Wellington? Y yes? Explain yourself. What were you doing during these 15 minutes? Answer the question. I, uh, telephone, uh, I mean... Spit it out! I, I was searching for a phone booth. A phone booth? You mean, you don't have a cell phone? Uh... You and your questions, as if you are trying to open all the lawyers of Matryoshka dolls, layers of Matryoshka dolls. You must think you are really something special. Special? Witness. I lost my cell phone there. Are you happy? You lost it? Unbelievable. You lose your glasses and your cell phone. You must be very scatterbrained when it comes to your belongings. What are you saying? Uh, what are you... What? Are you saying that first-rate people are never allowed to lose things? Haven't you ever hear... Blah, blah. Okay. Enough. Oh, man, oh, man. Wait, hold on a sec. He lost his cell phone? Nick, that cell phone, could it be... You mean this phone Maggie found? There's no way. Wow. A cup of noodles. Wow, with egg. This looks yummy and delicious. Can I show it to the people? Okay. Kira hat recht, Leute. We have noodles. Richtige Gachi Bakes noodles. Wow, noodles. Das ist ein bisschen scharf, dementsprechend werde ich gleich immer wieder ein bisschen was davon zippen. You mean, this phone Maggie found, there's no way. Boy, I didn't see this coming. What should I do now? Mr. Wellington, 
Where is your cell phone right now? Heh, <laughs> what, uh, what are you getting all excited about? You seem to be a little confused. I found my phone. I'll, I will have you know. See, here it is. Oh, I see. Huh, looks like he's got his phone. And I thought that just maybe this was his. Huh. Well then, I think we've cleared this issue up. At the time of the murder, the witness did not have his cell phone because he had lost it. Therefore, the delay in this call was caused by his search for a phone booth. 